Welcome back to my channel in today's video. Recently, um, on my Instagram, I asked you guys to give me some questions you would like to know about me or anything like that on my Instagram story. So, a few of you guys asked a couple of questions, so I saved it for this video. So, this is like my first Q&A and I'm excited because I want you guys to like get to know me and stuff like that and I really don't... When I first started my channel, I just got it right into it. I didn't, like, do, like, um, a video about me and stuff like that. So, here we go. One of you guys asked, how long did it take for you to master your makeup? I always loved makeup, for sure. Like, makeup was, like, my thing. I love makeup. Um, makeup was... I started wearing makeup, like in high school now always love makeup always love playing around with it and stuff like that so in high school um the only thing i was doing was like my eyebrows i did my eyebrows lip gloss lashes and a, sometimes eyeshadow and moving forward to senior year is when i started dibbing and dabbing into more like full face makeup like foundation concealer like the whole thing that's when i started like you know, figuring things out. Senior year is where everything started to grow and I started to um, watch YouTube and see how like doing a full face foundation concealer, all that was. So I would say my senior year is when, uh, the, like, the ending of my senior year is when I started to grow. Um, someone asked, <laughs> how long have you been in your relationship? Um, I've been in my relationship with my girlfriend for a whole long 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 one year <laughs> it feel like it's been forever cuz like I don't know I feel like we've been knowing each other for a long time like we met before or something but it's been a long year one year um, what inspired you to do makeup and everything um like I said I always been into makeup I always was a girl that was like very glamorous and beautified like I always wanted to do I was always into stuff either it was hair doing hair everything beauty hair fashion makeup nails like I was in it all okay so I was very creative like I always been very very creative also I just like to like see like the before and after of people whether it's me doing their hair or just like recreating something like it was always I, I just like to see like a transformation so yeah how do you, uh, someone asks how did you get into makeup and wigs um when I started wearing wigs I was in high school my senior year man my senior year, junior years <laughs> really everything just started blossoming but I was always different so me and senior year that's when I started wearing wigs um, and everybody I used to wear this kind of similar to what I have on now, big curly hair. And everybody was asking, like, is it a wig? You know, what is it? And then back then, you know, you didn't want to say it was a wig because back then it was just like, you wearing a wig? Wig is for, like, old people. You know what I'm saying? Like, wigs now is just so crazy because everybody want to wear wigs. And it's like a big ass trend to wear a wig. And everybody is not scared to wear one, so... Back then, no one, you couldn't get a person to wear a wig. But I was already on it. I was wearing my wigs, and I felt like it was different. I did. I wanted to do everything that was different. So, um, I'm like, let me just start wearing wigs. Also, what made me um, get into wigs is because, like, I couldn't afford to get my hair done every week or every two weeks like that's a lot of money people be spending on bundles mind you i was wearing synthetic wigs so it was affordable for affordable for me i can buy like two for the price of like forty dollars you know what i'm saying so it was cheap and i kept it up i made sure i was looking good everybody was thought it was human the way i took care of it you know what i'm saying so i was just really balling on a budget and i was just one of those girls that you know just took the other route i buy bundles plus getting your hair done pay to get your hair done to pay for the bundles then pay to get your hair done 
So, honey, that's a lot. So, uh, a wig gonna do me good. Get buy a wig, put it on, and keep it moving. Hello. Uh, so, what else? How old are you? I am 21. I'll be 22 real, real soon. What's today? Hmm. August 17th. My birthday is September 11th. So, I got a couple of days left. It's lit. I am so excited. I am 21. I'll be 22 September 11th. My birthday is approaching. What it? What is your ethnicity? I am black, honey. Okay, I'm black. <laughs> um, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Um, what made me want to start a YouTube channel? Um. Really because I'm very creative, I will say. And a lot of people were just like, why don't you just start a YouTube? I've been wanting to start a YouTube, you know. But when you start a YouTube, you got to make sure you got good lighting. You got a good camera. You got to have the, the a Mac to edit. Like, all of that is a lot of money to invest in. So, that takes time. It took a while for me. Um, but when I started, I still got my old videos up. Three videos. Like, three, two videos that was on my phone so like i wanted to do it so bad to the point where i just started recording on my phone and editing on iMovie on my phone um because i didn't have the proper tools so i took a chance but that didn't last long because i started running out of storage stuff like that it just didn't last so um finally you know i got the camera i got the all the tools that I needed. I want to show you guys like what I can do and I feel like I was always being creative in the house but never showing my talent and I was seeing everybody, everybody else showing their talent and I knew I can do the same thing. Um, I love doing hair. I love doing makeup. I just, I'm just a fun type of girl. Not only just, only with that it's just my life and period. I just want to show what I can do because people want to know. People always ask me, how you do this? How you do that? So now I got the YouTube. I can show it. What's your sexual... Somebody asked, what's your sexual preference? Preference. <laughs> so, um... Right now, I am in a relationship with a girl. I am bisexual. <laughs> so, that's the T on that. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I'm in a relationship with a girl. Hopefully, y'all will get to meet her um, in my um, videos. So, yeah. <sighs> what are you... Where are you from? I'm sorry. Someone asked, where are you from? Um, I am from Chicago, born and raised. This is where I live, Chicago. You know. Did, did you go to college? Someone said, did you go to college? I did go to college. Uh, a little tea of what you guys did know. A lot of people just think, you know, I'm in, just into makeup or, you know, makeup was just, it's just my thing. But I also was into fashion. Before makeup was, like, my thing, fashion was, like, my passion. Like, I went to school right after graduating college. I went to college at uh, the Art Institute downtown in my city I went to the Art Institute and I went for fashion design and I really thought that I wanted to be a fashion designer honey like I thought I was about to be a designer I, I was always sketching I started sketching um dresses wedding dresses all type of clothes shoes I was like really good at sketching like I'm so good and I haven't sketched in so long I started sketching um at 10 like at 10 years old and, you know, it started off like little shrivel travels, but then I started practicing, practicing and practicing, and my art, like, it really grew. And I started getting so, so much better at it. Um, I still have a passion for uh, a fashion like that. That's my thing. I told you beauty, everything beauty-wise, I'm into. I took, like, my class, like, my basic class, like, the basics of having, having knowing how to sew. It was just like, do I want to do this? Like, I don't have the pat the, 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 the patience. One thing with doing, doing fashion design, like, you have to have the patience to sit there and sew. I'm going to just say that right now. Like, the school, to me, when I was going there, it was just really going downhill. And 
I'm like, do I really need this degree for fashion? Like, I'm such a hands-on, I'm such a hands-on <laughs> type of girl. Like, I just like to get right into it. And I felt like a lot of classes was just a waste of my time. And I didn't feel like, yeah, I was, I'm just like, I don't think I need to be here anymore. So, I grew out of that and I moved on. Like, I don't need to pay all my money, stay four years here to be a fashion designer. I just feel like certain things that you want to study, you don't need to go to school for. Like makeup, you don't need to go to school for makeup. You don't need to go to school for to, to design. Like, um, unless, it's just certain things I just don't feel like you need to go to school for. It's a waste of time. So, but another school I went to is, um, now this is what I really enjoy. Uh, aesthetics. I just finished up in April. It was a, like a six month, a six month program which I love Whew. I ain't got time uh, so it was aesthetics aesthetics is basically you're learning all about the skin I already know about makeup so I um, learned about the skin and basically like spa training waxing and stuff like that so that was really really good I enjoyed it a lot so how <laughs> so I asked how long is your real hair under the wigs uh, my hair is, I never show my real hair since I've been recording, like, it'll be always in my Lynette's, in my little wig cap, but my hair is like bob length, so I did like a big chop, once I started wearing wigs, I cut all my hair off, my hair is like bob length, I would say about right here, that's where my hair is, it's, it's dope, so <laughs> I have hair under these wigs, okay, <laughs> someone asks, what's your sign? My sign, oh, I'm acting like I don't know. What's your sign? My sign, I am a Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Really? Is your butt real? Yes, my butt is real, honey. All of this is mine. Okay. Um, why do you wear wigs? Um, I wear wigs because I just feel like it's very, very versatile. And I get tired of certain styles. Like, I know if I was get to get my hair sewn in or something like that, I know I just can't take it off, like, and put it back on. So, I just feel like wigs is way more versatile, easier. Like, I'm so I'm so dollish. Like, I like to look different. Like, you know, I just feel like certain outfits don't go with certain hairstyles. So I like to wear certain different outfits with different I like to wear different certain different wigs with certain different outf outfits because I feel like every outfit just just don't go with everything so that's another thing um I'm very mindful about it's about the rain I'm very I'm very mindful about my uh my clothes too with my hair do you have any kids no I don't have any kids no 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 uh, do I look forward to having some? Yes, of course, in the future, but not right now. Excuse me. Do you... Any advice starting a YouTube channel? One thing I would say, I'm real, you know, I'm I'm a, uh, I'm a beginner myself. One thing I would say is uh, being consistent is key. Um, really stay consistent. Always be creative because everybody is doing the same thing as you. Make sure you put out fun content that people will want to watch because people just be creative, be fun, be energetic, be yourself, be real, and you know do what makes like do what you want to do. Like you know what I'm saying. Be different. Be bold. Like make do something that's going to make you stand out. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's always other people that's doing the same thing as you out here. You know, make sure that you, you know, you being inspiring because you never know who's watching. So, yeah. Um, what's your favorite foundation at the moment? My favorite foundation is L'Oreal True Match. That's the bomb.com. Love that foundation. I think I'm in the shade uh what shade I'm in? Uh, uh, um, don't you hate that? Um, uh, I can't think of it right now, but I know, I know. I'm gonna put it down below. Um, that's my favorite one, and recently I've been wearing Kat Von D Lock It In Foundation. That stuff is no joke, honey. I love that foundation. Full coverage. Um, 
where do you see yourself in about five years? In about five years, I see um, me like just growing. Like I'm growing right now, but I just really, hopefully, I see myself at a whole different place. Just my mindset, me financially stable, um, my YouTube like at a whole another level okay you got to speak these things to existence you know what i'm saying like you are in control of your own destiny or your whole life so you have to like really speak this stuff like okay i'm saying like you gotta like speak it for real say it as if you got it right now i see myself happy also i see myself out of chicago because i i really want to move so i want to see myself i want to be in la or new york la is the place New York is the place I just want to be around everybody that's that's in the same environment as me that's doing the same thing as me just being around successful individuals positive people good energy just living in their best life traveling I just want to see so much in this world it's so much to see I just want to see it all before I leave this earth that's it who inspires you in fashion um I really don't have an inspiration. No one. I don't have a. I don't know. No one. Someone asks, "Where do you dream to live?" Um, where I dream to live, I I recently said L.A. is a place where I would love to be, or New York. This is because the industry that I want to be in, in the world I want to be in, is just like everything is in these places. Like L.A. is always stuff to go to with me like every like everything is always in these places so someone asks what's your goal for your channel um my goal is to really just and be an inspiration for a lot a lot of people out there like i want to show something even though it's a lot of people that's doing the same thing as i'm doing but i want to be just different in a way of inspiring so many people out there like i just want to be different in so many ways like i want to teach people something that they never knew and i hope this channel grows and it goes so so far that something i can't even explain so fast so i can't even it, it just hit me okay i just hope it grows to the point where i show not just hair and makeup and stuff like that because I know that's what I've been posting recently. But I honestly want to share my life and talk about situations and stuff like that that people can relate to. So, One place you'll like to visit. Um, one place i like to visit. It'll have to be like Paris. I love to go to Paris, um, Dubai. But Paris is one of my like top, it's like on the top of the list. How many siblings? Okay, no. Do you have do you have any siblings? If so, um, how many? I have wait five now. So I have two brothers, two sisters, and I have a baby sister. Well, three sisters. A baby sister. She just was born not too long ago. So five siblings. Three things that make you happy and two pet peeves. Um, Food. Love me some food. Okay. Love food. Um, another thing that makes me happy is doing what I love every day. When I'm not when I'm feeling down, I know that makeup can make me happy. Family makes me happy. Being around my girlfriend makes me happy. I'm saying a lot. They only ask three things. Everything that I love to do, whether it's fashion hair makeup those are the things that makes me happy and keep going like doing this right here makes me happy like because this is something i love to do so uh two pet peeves oh i hate when people ask dumb questions like just people that drive slow i hate slow drivers like if you're gonna be date me or we're gonna be together you gotta drive fast okay i'm just just I can't. I hate slow drivers. If I have to take a Lyft, if I take an Uber and they drive driving slow, I just be wanting to like tell them to just drive, just drive. Like, what are you scared of? Drive. Another one is when people ask like dumb questions like, 
because it's so many pet peeves of mine so i'm gonna just say this one um when someone asks about like oh give me a compliment give me a compliment about my makeup and then be like um you don't be hot you don't be hiding your, you don't be hiding your makeup or something like that you don't be like it's kind of like if I I want to wear this like if I want to wear this when it's hot outside don't ask me are you hot in your makeup like you don't be hot like obviously I know how to apply my makeup in certain weathers like don't ask me nothing dumb like that I just don't don't ask me that. Don't give me a compliment. And then I just feel like that's just really a dumb question. Like, I just. But I don't like that. Just don't ask me. You don't be hiding in, the, in all that makeup. In all that makeup. At that. And be like, you don't be hot in all that makeup. No, bitch. It'll be the main ones that need it. So, beat it. Um, then the last question. Last, 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 last question. What are three of your favorite qualities about yourself? Three. One, I would say being creative. I am so blessed with these hands. I thank God that I'm so creative. Like, I, I just love that about myself. I would say my creativeness. Being different and not caring. Like, I've always been different and always just want to do what i want to do regardless of it's if it's trending or not like i just do it because i love it and this is what i want to do like i always want to be the girl that stands out and not want to look like the rest so i love that quality about myself three i would say my personality i love who i am i love my personality i love my energy i love um what else i just love me okay i love my personality i think my personality who i am is just bomb i think i'm a bomb ass person you know then that's what it is okay that's it i hope you guys enjoyed my little first question and answer if i didn't answer anything that you would like to know about me please be free Please be free um, in commenting down in the, down there and letting me know. So I'll see you baby dolls in my next video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share this video. And that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you baby dolls in my next video.